Steve Gunnies, young man. Yes, for Nicola. Nice job on the film. Thanks, man. You, uh, Thank you. You've managed to... Nice job on the show. It's nice to see a Greek guy doing well for himself. <laughs> and to you as well. Yeah, is thanks. Papadopoulos is Papadopoulos. Your name? I'm a Papadopoulos. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't know that uh, Greeks have been kicked out of so many regions of the world and there were riots, anti-Greeks and all that, and that's part of the reason why your family changed your name, right? You do your research. I try. Yes, I'm a Greek from Omaha and... Um... <laughs> but you could have been a Greek from Boston. Correct, yes. My grandfather went through Boston, Mr. Research. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, not to make a big deal of it. In fact, the old timers never liked to talk about it, but my grandfather arrived in Omaha around 1912, 1913, still named, you know, Nikos Papadopoulos, and in 1909 there had been an anti-Greek riot. So by 1915 he saw fit to change his name. Mm -hmm. And not to Poulos or Pappas, which a lot of Greeks do to shorten it, but like totally to Americanize it. It's a pain. Yep, maybe it's a symbol of what he went through changing his name. Oh, that's a nice spin. It's just a way. Yeah, that's a way. Did, did, you, did you feel like an outsider? Well, I don't know how about you felt as a Greek Canadian, but I think growing up as a Greek American, I mean, Greeks, uh, unlike many other ethnicities, sort of cling to that identity. Not as Greeks, but now as Greek Americans or Greek Canadians. So uh, I think to some degree, yeah, growing up in, in Omaha, I was certainly American, as American as. Uh, not as apple pie as uh, apple baklava, <laughs> but but still with the sense of subculture and looking, you know, from the the inside the bubble of being Greek American out at. In fact, we used to say. In fact, they still do. Uh, oh, so and so is he Greek or is he American? I mean, I'm American, but right. we're still identifying non-Greeks as Americans. The way in ancient Greece they identified non-Greeks as barbarians. And the reason why I ask that is because that's true. They did. But as I. <laughs> When I ask that is the idea of watching Nebraska, watching the way you tell your story, you have this, I'm, as a viewer, I'm inside the story, but I'm not inside the characters. I'm watching this play out, and I wondered, you know, where you came up with that idea of just exploring them. Yeah, I, that's not conscious. It's interesting you point that out. Uh, I wonder if other viewers would share that point of view, but I mean, certainly going back to your previous, previous question, I feel as an American, maybe even as an earthling, like a uh, uh, participant observer. I'm here fully participating, I'm an earthling, I'm American, I'm Nebraskan, I'm Greek, yet also observing the whole experience at the same time. Well, and I think that's part of what a lot of people who seek a career in the arts have that, that they're here, but they're looking at it at the same time.